When it comes to signs and symptoms, we have a little memory tool, and that is havocs. So think it wreaks havoc on your body, okay? So the H is for hot flashes. I would think that's what most people associate with menopause, right? When you hear menopause, you think hot flashes. And your body temperature does actually increase when you're having a hot flash. So it's not just a sensation, you actually are having an increase in your temperature. The other H is for hair loss. Because of the increased androgens in your body, you have brittle hair, thinner hair, and even hair loss. A is for atrophy of the vagina. So that decreased estrogen causes that decrease in um, elasticity and it causes the dryness, right, in the skin and mucous membranes, which can lead to atrophy of the vagina, which can lead to things like painful intercourse. V is for vaginal secretions have decreased and vaginal pH increases as a result of this, making you more susceptible to infections. O is for osteoporosis. I have a whole video on osteoporosis and I talk about why being menopausal and having that decreased estrogen in your body is a risk factor for developing osteoporosis. So if you want to check that out, I'll put that in the description box. C is for coronary artery disease. I want to make it clear, menopause does not cause coronary artery disease. But if you already have other risk factors, if you have high cholesterol, if you have hypertension, which is a high blood pressure already, during menopause, your risk increases. And then finally, S is for sleep disturbances things like night sweats. So hot flashes and night sweats are the most commonly associated symptoms. So sleep disturbances are night sweats.